this video we will restore the application level backup uh, let me go to the inventory and 132 server and i have installed windows server 2012 and i have installed active directory on it so after that i have just taken a backup of this and backup job is going on right now it is running 0% completed so let me explain you the whole task i this is my 132 server i have accessed it through vSphere client that is 132 i created a new server which is windows server 2012 and inside that i have configured the active directory inside the active directory i have created three users naming user 1 user 2 and user 3 domain name is abc.com and here you're going to find user 1 user 2 and 3 so after doing all this i initiated the backup process by just simply going to the inventory virtual infrastructure and create a job and job is a backup job so right now it is going on so i do not want to create a new backup job here it is nine percent let me also help you to understand in this simulation in this simulation this is host host a i am giving a name which is 192.168.60.132 on top of that host i have installed a virtual machine which is server 2012 on the server 2012 i have installed a application or a domain service which you call active directory domain service active directory on top of active directory i have created three user which is user one user two and user three after that i have this a veeam backup and replication i have initiated a backup process to backup this virtual machine so i am backing up this virtual machine in a storage location whatever or wherever it is it's a switch so what i wanted all is after that i am going to remove these roles from the server this our application and i am not going to restore the entire virtual machine but i am restoring only this particular domain service or application back so this is about this entire practical session so let us go back and see the progress the progress has been done it's 99 percent completed so it took few minutes i believe only five minutes yeah okay so guys we can see this uh, backup has been successfully done and uh, initially it was failed due to lack of storage space so i did it i re have redone it so let us uh, uh, we can see it successfully done now what we can do is we can go to the server console and uh, alt control insert let us there are two options we have in front of us either either we can delete the entire active directory or delete some of the objects from this uh, directory so i'll be deleting like uh, user one so user one i will be removing right click delete yes i'm also deleting user two and i'm also deleting user three 
and in some cases even you can remove the entire directory so my next thing is let's go back to the backup infrastructure and inventory virtual infrastructure restore restore from backup and the last is application item restore select microsoft active directory and so all object windows server 2012 there are plenty of backups now and this is the one the latest one okay taken at this time this has been success if you have a dot you can check in the backups done and finish now wait for some moment now it will open your veeam explorer and operation is in progress it will show you uh, active directory there and it will show you whatever applications are present they will all appear here even it's a sharepoint or ms sql or it could be any application that support veeam backup and application So yes, you can restore entire thing. And open users. And you can say restore container to ABC. You can select all the users or you can go and you can find here user 1, user 2, user 3. There are 3 users only. And restore to abc.com it and here the server is you need to go to the tools go to the active directory users and computers and there we find user one user two and user three is three has been restored and in any case if you face some issue you can even restore it to the desktop but restore object two and here you can select your name of your domain and then username and password make sure you are able to reach to your server like uh, 192.168.60. That's the IP of this machine. Uh, like CMD IP config 136. So make sure you are able to ping. Yeah, that's working. Thank you very much.